friends and resellers, it's Trish with WellSourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet Bins Haul video. This is from a couple weeks ago when I popped down to the bins in Nashville where I pay $1.59 a pound for these items. Um, I didn't really need to go to the bins this day, but I knew I was going to be busy the next couple weeks, so it allowed me to kind of stockpile some inventory um, that I now sort of need to get listed. So I want to go ahead and talk about it so that it can get into my queue to be photographed and listed. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start right into it. In a lot of my Ben's hauls, I feel like I talk a lot about non-thrifting related things. So this time I'm just gonna shut my mouth and get right into it. Um, I do like to go to the accessories bin and because I do feel like a lot of times things are overlooked or people don't pick up certain things or only looking for certain items. So I saw this little handbag and um, I immediately thought of Sophia Petrello from uh, Golden Girls and it just a little handbag and it's got this kind of tortoise shell like handles, almost like a Lucite, but I don't believe it is. It has a turn lock on the top that opens up. The turn lock does have some wear. And then, of course, there's some markings inside. But the brand says Lesco, made in Hong Kong, Hong Kong expressly for Lesco, L-E-S-C-O. So I just thought I could sell it on style alone because I thought it was cute. It's kind of got a, oh, I don't know, the 60s maybe, but also sort of a boho retro vibe going on. This is like a faux wicker woven kind of bag. It has little feet on it and it does have, where is it? Like a little bit of scuffing here and a little mark on the back that I'm going to try to get out. But comps for bags in good condition, I saw going for $40 plus on eBay. So um, I thought it was really cute and I wanted it to come home with me. The next item I will talk about what that I have in the garage that I didn't want to bring in is I found an American flag in one of the bins, um, a large American flag, like a, a real American flag, not a tablecloth or a pair of shorts or something. And I am, I just could not, I sat there and pondered it for a minute. Should I leave this here? What if it goes to a landfill? I'm not a super crazy person who is follows all the rules all the time about flags, but the idea of it going to a landfill without being disposed of properly, just kind of tugged at my heartstrings um, as my husband's served in the military for over 23 years. And um, it's kind of a big deal, especially down here in the South and in a military town. So I threw it in my car. I brought it home because I just could not bear to let it go off to a landfill. And um, when I came home, I measured it because it's quite a large flag and it actually measures as a, an interment flag. So something that would have dra been draped across a, a casket or given as a memorial at a funeral. And then I, that broke my heart a little bit more because I thought, was this, you know, on some service member's casket who, and then it's ending up at the Goodwill <laughs> going to the landfill. So that tugged at my heartstrings as well. Caveat to that is you can buy these on Amazon. Um, it's just an odd size. So instead of like a four by eight, it's a four by nine and a half so that it drapes on, I guess the length is a typical casket length maybe. I'm not sure what the purpose is for that. Um, and so it is, you can hang them. I did look up the regulations on hanging and interment flag. They are meant to be hung, they do have grommets. So my husband and I will keep that and we'll fly it on our flagpole um, in Idaho when we eventually move home. But I, if it was used on someone's casket and or as a memorial flag, it will have a good home with us until it is ready to be properly disposed of um, or it will, you know, just be folded up in our garage <laughs> until we need it. So if it was something that was purchased from Amazon um, by someone who just didn't know what it was, then I feel a little bit better about it. But uh, anyway, that's the story on that. I just told you I wasn't gonna go off on any tangents, but that one was a big deal. I, I really sat by that bin and hemmed and hawed, walked away and came back and thought, this needs to go, this needs to come home with me. And so my husband was proud of the choice I made. I sent him a picture. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is the brand Moby, which I can't find. It's in here somewhere. It's a baby wrap, and I told everyone that I was never picking up baby wraps again. 
um, because I felt like I got a ding on Poshmark because I think I used the word sling. Anyway, this is a Moby wrap. I don't know where the tag is, but it's just a long cotton fabric. Um, my cousin is having a baby, and so I was going to see if she possibly wanted it when I send her her gift. Um, I could tuck it in there. She has registered for another type of sling or baby carrier, but I thought maybe she would want an extra one to try out. And if she doesn't, I will go ahead and list it. So it was in nice condition and it was black. So it was a good colorway. This is just Old Navy, <laughs> extra large size, extra large, um, kind of a handkerchief print, handkerchief print. Um, the lighting in here is not great today. We're getting some strong winds coming in with maybe a tornado tomorrow. So, um, anyway, I just bought this for myself because it's a light cotton shirt. This is the brand Bonobos, which I think is sold at like Nordstrom. It's a men's brand. It's a stretch slim fit size large shirt. And I think it was a cotton spandex. 99% cotton, 1% elastane. So it's not the highest reselling brand and I really don't like listing men's button, button up shirts or button front shirts, but um, I did go ahead and grab it just because of the upcoming season. This is the brand Habitat. So this brand does pretty well for me. Um, it is made in the US and it's 100% linen. And this definitely has a lag and look look to it, kind of an artsy look. It's an open linen top with this button closure or faux button closure. It did have a mark on it, but when I was at the bins, um, I felt like it would come out. So I did come home and stain treat that before and then washed it and it did come out. It does have this three quarter length, nice sleeve. It's in like a gray black color. So um, perfect for the upcoming season and that brand does historically well for me. This is the brand Torrid. This is a luxe slim boot cut in a 16 regular. And Torrid jeans don't historically do super great for me. Um, a lot of times they do have a lot of wear in the crotch area, so I don't know if it's the fabric um, that causes that or not. But it, because it's a boot cut and has kind of nice stretch to it. I thought I would go ahead and give that a try. It is not a super extended size. Like it's not um, like a 22 or even a 20 or an 18. Uh, being a 16, I have tried those on. I can wear a 16 in a lot of clothes. Those are snug on me. So I definitely feel like they are, uh, don't run as generous as other brands possibly. All right, this is the brand Not Your Daughter's Jeans. This is a size 12 uh, straight leg velour kind of corduroy pant in this brown chocolate brown color just a straight leg definitely not for the season today but um i did go ahead and pick them up and i actually picked up several corduroy pants this day speaking of the next pair is eddie bauer it is a curvy boot cut in a size six and this i like this color man the lighting is bad in here so sorry um, there we go. It's kind of a blue color. I just think that it's a great pant. And the reason I did pick those up is because I also found another pair of Eddie Bauer jeans, which are in here somewhere. Maybe this is it. Eddie Bauer jeans in a size six. Yes, 100% cotton pair of jeans um, that I thought I would just list at the same time so that if someone were a size six, and liked Eddie Bauer jeans, they could go ahead and pick that up. This is from a couple hauls ago, but I needed to launder them. And it's seven for all, all mankind boot cut and pair of men's jeans in a 38 with I think a regular inseam, but I haven't measured it yet. They were in good condition. They just had kind of a little bit of a musty odor to them that has gone away. Oh, I did get this Dolly Parton shirt. So it's just got, it says Dolly and it's got Dolly Parton's face on there. Um, it, it's a black t-shirt and it had some bleach marks at the bottom of it. So I thought, here's my chance to finally do like a reverse tie dye. And so this was my first attempt at that. However, it's a great shirt to just wear around the house and I love Dolly Parton. So um, didn't want that one to go to waste and off to the landfill. This is the brand Cacique. It's a size 34G which must be a one, two, three, four, 
triple, a uh, quadruple D. Is that how it works? Because E, F, and G. So anyway, this is a um, nice stretching knit and it is a lightly lined full coverage bra um, from 22. So a great color and had a little bit of light wrinkling in the interior lining, but no big deal. Okay, this is a super cool jacket. <laughs> um, honestly, I kind of want to keep it for myself. It is a woman's jacket with these woven wooden leather or leather buttons. It has real genuine leather accents at the shoulder. And then it's a wool, 100% wool body in this tweed kind of fabric with a stretchy ribbed knit um, cuff. Now, it does say it is 100% wool somewhere. And then it says, Let's see. Do not wash or dry clean by fabric methods. Have cleaned by leather experts. For best results, give to leather craft process. And so I looked that up. I don't believe it's any, in business any longer, but that would have been the brand that um, made this jacket. So it is vintage. I don't know what year. It kind of has like an 80s look to it. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit more research, but it's a size 14 and it's kind of a roomier fit. Do I need another jacket in my life? Probably not, but I went ahead and grabbed it. This is a pair of Eileen Fisher linen pants. Um, there we go. The size has been cut out. If I had to guess, they are a like medium, maybe. They have a flat front um, and a stretchy back, elastic back. They have a pocket. They're a cropped wide leg linen pant. And I think they are, let's see, organic, 85% organic linen, 15% linen. So a great pant for the upcoming season. And I will just measure that against something else. All right, this I picked up for style. The brand is Dawn Caster Sport, 100% mercerized cotton whatever that means made in china it's a 3w so i assume that's a 3x this is a button front cardigan which is not buttoned and it's a crochet crocheted um cardigan and cotton with this fun kind of colorway in the stripes definitely has sort of a boho but also an 80s 90s look to me with that crochet look it has a scalloped trim and these are also sort of color straight out of the 70s so um i just felt like it had a lot going for it and would be cute for someone to wear this is torrid i don't pick up torrid in a size zero very often um i prefer to get at least ones that are a one two or three plus um, just because the resale on it is not as great. However, this sweater looks almost brand new and it is really cute. <laughs> and I thought I might keep it for myself if it didn't sell, but it's green, which you can't really tell because of the crappy lighting I have today. Um, and it's got just a leopard print, but then also like a fair aisle heart print, button front cardigan or button down cardigan, longer line, front slip pockets. And I think it's just a 100% acrylic. Oh no, polyester acrylic nylon spandex blend but it's from 2023. So it's just from last year uh, and probably last fall, 2023. So I think this is adorable and I am going to, you know, probably be holding on to that till <laughs> next fall. Okay, this is Beach Lunch Lounge, not a brand that resells for a lot. I think it's maybe at like Nordstrom or other department stores. I always see it at TJ Maxx, but this is 100% cotton tank with just a fun little ruffle trim on it with the multi print, super lightweight, a little bit of a keyhole opening in the front and easy to photograph, perfect for the upcoming season. So I went ahead and grabbed it. This is Free People Beach, size extra small. And can you see the Free People? There we go, Free People Beach. This is a purple ribbed, stretchy, I don't know what this, I, this is probably going to be a mini dress, but um, 
pullover kind of I, great cover up for the beach on a cooler evening. So super oversized. I went ahead and grabbed it and it's in a pretty purple. Does free people sell great for me? No, but do I still get excited when I find it at the bins? Sure do. All right, this is French pastry size 2X. I didn't know anything about this brand. It's still sort of irrelevant. However, I liked the graphic on it. It's got these skeletons dancing um, under the moon and the stars. And it says, when everything is dark, just keep dancing. So somebody who is into skeletons and Halloween and um, this kind of style will appreciate that. This I grabbed for myself. The brand is Apartment 9, which is Kohl's, right? This is a open front field jacket with a cinch waist um, cuff sleeve. So it's definitely a lighter weight jacket. Do I need this? No, but I kind of liked it. <laughs> um, it's just made out of like a rayon polyester blend, but I thought it was lightweight enough that I could honestly wear it with like jean shorts and a white tank. Or I'm not gonna wear a white tank, let's be real. With jean shorts and a black tank, um, just as a nice little cover up over when it's a little bit cooler outside. Okay, this lighting should be a little bit better. I I hope you bear, were bearing with me up until this point. Um, so this is the brand Majid. I don't know why I keep trying to butcher this name. It's M A G I D Majid hats. They make these kind of packable sun straw hats um, or sun hats made out of paper or straw. This one is made out of paper and I am a sun hat queen <laughs> um, and that's basically all I wear. This kind of has more of a Western style to it. So I did pick it up. They're easy to list. That's nice and plain. Um, so that should do all right. What is this? This is a corset top by Adore Me in a size large. It has a lace up back and zip front. It's got a floral sort of brocade print, um, all sorts of little frills along the bust line. So I will get that listed. Um, I found another one this day as well, but it did not have a size, but it was right with this one. So I assume it's comparable. So I will go ahead and um, measure it compared to this other one. Okay, this is also Eileen Fisher. This seems like a newer tag from Eileen Fisher. This is a size medium short. And so the difference between this short and the other pants, this one has a size, but no fabric tag. I assume it's a linen blend of some sort. It's just a navy pull on pant um, in a little bit longer of a inseam so I will go ahead and measure that comparably to the pants and see if I can't um get them sort of accurately you know described in my listing all right this is gap denim size 6 slash 28 long the universal jegging oh universal legging I like this because it is a mustard colored pant in a ankle pant jegging so it's sort of a skinnier fit but um i think it's a great color i think it's a great style for fall and it is from spring of fall of 2020 so you know coming up on four years old but i they're in excellent condition so i did go ahead and grab them this is the brand a new day it is just a chunky knit sweater v-neck why do I pick up white things for myself that I'm never going to wear? I don't know. Things happen. Um, this is just sort of a lighter weight sweater. It's 60% cotton. And I just thought, I don't know what I thought. Um, have some things upcoming that I'm going to be going to like events for. And I thought, you know, if I was wearing a dress, this would be something I could cover up easily with to stay warm. This is the brand... Felina, maybe? No, Freya. I don't know anything about this brand. F-R-E-Y-A. I grabbed it because it is a size 38 
D. Um, and it is a pretty lace bra with um, pink details and kind of a scalloped lace trim. Just a pretty bra. So I grabbed it. I feel like I found the underwear for that as well, but I will only pick up underwear if they're new with text. <laughs> um, this I grabbed because I just thought it was a cute piece. So it's Sarah Spencer, don't know anything about that brand. 55% linen, 45% rayon, but it's this kind of tie-dye, but not really. It's a floral layered tank, linen blend, and just kind of muted colors, just in a good, nice colorway. So we have new um, floors in our house outside of carpet, and so you may hear the dogs ticket 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 with their little feet um, all over the background. So we'll see if that is obnoxious. I won't <laughs> allow them down here in the future. Um, okay, this is Chico size two, which is a large. This is a kind of gauzy, super gauzy, pink print, three quarter length sleeve, rounded bottom hem, popover top with mother of pearl buttons. And I just, it does, have, oh, it has that tie front. I don't know if you saw that. And <clears throat> it is made out of 100% cotton. So perfect for the upcoming season. And I do love picking up Chico's. This is J. Crew Chino short, size of 10. These are just a classic pair of Chino shorts in this olive green, army green color. <clears throat> they are from like 2015, 2015, 100% cotton. But honestly, I have, this style must be a classic style because I've sold several shorts in that exact style that were that old. This was a fun find. <clears throat> it's soft surroundings. It is a petite medium, but it is a corduroy, fine corduroy, um, not a wide whale. Maxi length skirt with this raw fringe hem. And on the bottom is this button, embroidered sequined pattern along the bottom. So it's an A-line skirt. It is a flat front. It has a side zip and then it has an elastic back. Um, no pockets, but just a great skirt. So obviously not the right season for that, but I think that will do well. This is Torrid size three, which equates to a three X. Oh, I did get this. It's just a black dress, um, which is really gonna not look good in this lighting, which I've tried to improve but it is a midi length and it's just a black dress like a fit and flare um it feels brand new like it has never been washed or worn and it is from 2020 so it does have the style number in there but it's just a basic black dress so i feel like you can dress that up or down all right next up is m magashoni this is a size small but i just really like this sweater it's a short sleeve knit sweater multicolor stripe, a shorter line, um, and just a really cute piece for spring. It has a little bit of metallic threading through it. It's just an acrylic nylon blend, so nothing super fancy, but I do think it's a cute style for spring. Here's that other corset top that is unbranded. It has this fun hook closure in the front, a lace floral overlay. So I do believe it's probably the same size. I will just Maybe I'll lot it together with the one that does have a brand name. I have the dogs crawling all over me because they know what time it is, uh, which is almost their L-U-N-C-H time. Okay, this is Land's End. I do like picking up their ties. Um, it's 100% silk, made hand sewn in the USA. So that has some features going for it, made in the USA. Land's End is a nice quality brand, I feel like. But it's also silk and it has American flags on it. So it gives that patriotic look. You can wear it to many different things. All right, this is just Parade. I don't know this brand. But I feel like maybe I've picked it up in the past, in the future. I may pick it up in the future. It's just a size medium. But it's this fun yellow, like sunflower colored, marigold colored, just like a little bralette with a lace back. So I grabbed it. Those are things that are super easy to list. This is a pair of men's Wrangler 42 by 32. I assume they're new in the bag. I'll take them out when I photograph it. 
Um, they And they're flannel lined. So I thought they would do pretty well. Um, but I just threw them in my cart because I saw they were brand new. Okay. This, I can't find anything else out about this brand. It says Paul Salgo Creation, Bond Street, London. Um, I couldn't find, it's a vintage tie and it's all wool made in England. So I liked those things about it, like a vintage tie. Um, but then also it has horses on it. So it's got an equestrian look to it. Made in England vintage wool tie. So I can use keywords like equestrian, horseback riding, um, uh, horse racing, Kentucky Derby, those type of things. This I grab, it does need to be steamed. Um, it's, let's see if you can see that. Boss by Hugo Boss, which is the like sub brand of Hugo Boss. Um, and it is 100% silk, I believe, made in Italy, yes. So it does need to be steamed, but it's a fun kind of geometric print, blue and silver and navy, maybe, or black, I can't tell in this lighting. This is the brand, Pure Beauty by Renee Rafi Rafe. I, lingerie. I can't read what it says. It's a size 3X. Um, I did look up the comps on this. You know, it's and that what I hope to get for bras is like 15 to 25. So um, it's just a pretty nighty and it does have an underwire upper. And then it's just, it would probably go great with uh, matching panties that it probably came with, but did not find those. This is cactus size medium. Made in, made in Italy, so a cactus with a K. Um, I have picked up this brand, I think, once before, but maybe I brought it home and it was too flawed to deal with. So this is a short sleeve, cap sleeve top. It has these knit inserts and on the um, sleeves and then the back. And then it's got a rounded hem with a little bit of that trim matching at the bottom. Um, and then the side inserts with that as well. But it is 100% linen, made in Italy. So, you know, I thought I would go ahead and grab that. That's Sheldon decided today was the day to start chewing his bone behind me. Okay, this is Dior. Um, I think it says Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom on it. The men's store, Bloomingdale's. It is a Dior tie. 80% um, polyester, 20% silk. These, you know, maybe 15 bucks. Sometimes I might lot it with the Hugo Boss one, but it's just a classic striped red tie. This I grabbed. I'm not going to resell it, but I will talk about it. It's the brand Swim It, which I don't think is in business anymore, but it was meant for like people who train in the open water. So like triathletes or uh, competitive swimmers, maybe. Um, it can like strap to your thigh. And then if you get in trouble, you can pull this cord and out pops like a flotation device. Um, I believe it's like an inner tube so that you can rest or wait for help or whatnot. And it's rechargeable. So you can repack it kind of like a parachute. And then the little nitrogen or nitrous bottles, um, like my whipped cream container, you just charge the whipped cream container to make whipped cream out of a whipped cream can. It's like having your own ready whip at home, um, like they do at Starbucks probably. Anyway, you can just recharge it in case of your next emergency. So I only saw one listed on eBay. Um, I'm just going to keep it because I don't know. My husband and I grew up on a lake. We'll be returning to a lake. It might be something interesting, even though we do wear personal flotation devices when we're out needing it, but it might be something nice if you're out on a paddleboard, even though you are required in our state of Idaho to have a um, life jacket with you. This might be something nice to wear. So I don't know. Maybe they're not in business anymore because it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not sure. It seems like one of those things that would have been on Shark Tank. This is one of the last things I grabbed. It's Sundance, which is a catalog brand um, or online now. I really think this dress is adorable. This is a size small. Um, this brand does historically well for me. I do have a couple pieces that have been sitting forever, but a lot of it does move 
quicker and quickly for me. So this is a short sleeved velour dress in like a peacock green back or peacock blue. I can't tell if I hear thunder or not. Um, this is a very pretty dress and it is rayon silk blend. I assumed it was silk when I grabbed it out of the um, bin. It has a split neck. It's just a knee length shift dress, very pretty. And I think it should do well. Obviously not for this season. But a lot of their items are um, silk blends. Okay, this is a fun pickup. This is Babaton size medium. This is a short length jacket, black jacket in this leather look. This I thought might be leather. This is the realest feeling faux leather I have ever felt in my life, like buttery soft, short sleeved in excellent condition. Um, I did see comps for this in smaller sizes. I think it will do well. It is lined, but it is a polyurethane vegan leather and it just feels real. Um, I was super shocked. So I grabbed that. This I grabbed because the tag looked fancy. Cal Riemann, or Ryman, Cal, Cal Ryman, size extra large. This is a pull-on pant with elastic waist. Um, the elastic is messed up in it. I do need to flip it. It just takes a few minutes to deal with. It's kind of like a track pant material. Um, it goes down into a bit of a wide leg. I looked these up. I, I, this bought, I bought literally because of the tag to me looked expensive. Um, and then it's woven, made in USA, fabric woven in Italy, cotton nylon, professional dry cleaner machine wash. So these pants, their brand retails, I look like, oh, $250 or more. The resale on them is not nearly that, but I do feel like I saw comps between 30 and 45 maybe for that pant. And you'll have been seeing, um, comps along the way, so I'll correct myself or not. I do hear thunder out there, but it's not supposed to be thundery. Um, okay, this is the brand Indigo Soul, size extra large. I think I have 100% sell through on this brand. I pick it up almost every time I find it. So it has this sort of cowl neck with a open crochet knit. And then it has a knit body with a those um, panels on the sides. It's kind of a tunic sweater. It has a cuffed sleeve and it is made out of fifty five percent acrylic, forty four percent nylon, and then spandex, but the crochet is an acrylic wool blend. So it is machine washable. Um, I think that will do well, uh, not as it's April 1st today when I'm uh, filming this. So I'm going to say not in the upcoming season anytime soon. All right, this is Torrid Curve size 42D made in 2020. This is a pink strapless bra with lace inserts. Um, it does have the removable straps that are not included. However, I think the last Torrid underwire um, strapless bra I sold didn't have it either, and it sold very quickly. The thing is, if you're a busty girl, I've said it before, those removable straps are doing you no good. You want a regular bra in that case, because those will just cut into your sole. But um, if you're going to have to wear a strapless bra, then you don't care about those adjustable straps. I trying to think of how many strapless bras I've owned and if I've ever used the straps that came with it. And I'm going to say a hard no. I don't think I ever have. What are you? Oh yeah, this is cute. It's I believe it's navy and white polka dot. It's Club Monaco, which isn't a cheap brand. Um, it's a size 10. It does not resell great, but I think this is adorable. So this is a square neckline polka dot dress. And then it's a fit and flare, full skirt, and it has this cutout back to it. I just think this is adorable. This would be great for um, a you know baby shower or a summer wedding or just a summer event, brunch, a Tuesday. I don't care. Um, it's got pockets. It's just a really cute dress, and it is lined. It's a very well. It feels very well made. 
This is Cabby. This is the older label of Cabby or the original label. Um, Cabby size four. It is a like a velvet burnout blazer in this navy blue. It is a single button and um, I grabbed it because I pretty much grab any cabby stuff. I just do. It's not going to sell for a million dollars. I think before when it first came out, it had like a huge following, but some of the stuff does still sell well, even in smaller sizes. So this is a polyester wool acrylic blend jacket. It feels nice and I think it has things going for it regardless of the fact that it's cabby. I think it could sell to anyone who's looking for those kind of style style features. All right, this is the brand Super Dry. Um, size, I don't know, size, what are you? Oh, extra large. I thought I knew it had a size. Um, I believe this is just a men's crew neck striped shirt. I'm trying to think of where the only place I've seen this store is. I think it was in Dublin, maybe. Um, keep away from fire. That's comforting. I'm trying to see what it's made out of. It is 100% cotton. Um, and it is just a long sleeve crew neck t-shirt. So actually this doesn't seem like this might be a woman's. I don't know. I'll have to look up the style number to see. It's like a navy blue color. This I grabbed, the irony is that on my TV right now is the movie Suicide Squad, not the Suicide Squad, but the first one, which is Suicide Squad, where Jared Leto plays the Joker, which people kind of panned with this movie. I kind of like it. Um, I thought Jared Leto did a good job being the Joker. So anyway, uh, this brings me to, this is a Suicide Squad size extra large jacket. It's a duster length kind of overcoat in this snake print. Um, I'm looking literally at the pause screen right here. It's like my, one of my background movies that I watch often. And he's wearing this jacket. So this is one of those cosplay slash, you know, um, Comic-Con, uh, Halloween-y kind of costumes that I will definitely use good keywords with. And the comps on it look pretty decent. This is White House Black Market, size medium. I thought this would be good for the upcoming season. This is a bronzy it has like a metallic sheen to it open knit longer line cardigan just an open cardigan but very loose something you would want to wear over like a tank um it's just rayon it's nothing fancy it has a nice feel to it though so i think that it has a little bit of warmth that you could wear if you were going to go um wear it out you could have a little bit of extra warmth in the you know when as we get into nicer weather this is Fabletics. Um, the only reason I bought this is that it had the, oops, had the pull tag and it was new with tags. I have, this is one of those brands I have stuck true on not buying if it doesn't have a size anymore. It's a size small. This only retail for $40. It's the Renee Seamless Capri Tight. I feel, I'm not wearing um, leggings really anymore. I'm wearing more joggers. They're easier to get on and off in my old age. But this is a cute polka dot Capri. So if someone does like the style, um, this one's new with tags. So I got them. This is the brand Current Elliott, which does not do well for me necessarily. I feel like it just takes forever to sell. It's a size 26 slash zero. Um, it's the skinny in marigold, a true 80 skinny jean that hugs every cork curve cropped at the ankle but I love this color it is a velvet color it is marigold some flowery um so I just think that this will be a great piece for fall so I did go ahead and grab that here's another pair of corduroy pants this is J Jill the corduroy brand um or corduroy collection size large it's a cotton spandex pull on and I think these are navy blue and they had a few linties so this will be something that I hate listing because I hate listing things with lint on them <laughs> but I'll, I will and sometimes even in those listings I will put this comes with a few extra linties like not my problem <laughs> um I will de-lint this a thousand times and roll my lint roll over it but sometimes it's just going to come with lint this is loft outlet um which is not something I recommend picking up, but it's just a 
cotton cardigan and this marled sweater. I got that for myself. This is Talbot's uh, Factory Simply Flattering Five Pocket 12 Petite Navy Blue Corduroy Pants. So as I said, I did pick up a lot of corduroy pants. These are things that they are not probably taking at the Goodwill right now because they see them as being a fall item and they're setting them off to the bins or they're just not selling, which is fine by me because I do list things all year long um, and I will just relist them every you know, 30 to 60 days using Vendu uh, in, on my different platforms, except eBay. I don't always relist on there, but on Mercari and Poshmark, I do relist um, often. So this is Lucky Brand Size Small, uh, an army like colored field jacket look to it. And it does button up. And then it says, it's got California down here and it says Lucky embroidered on it. And then it says Los Angeles. So it's definitely a military inspired sort of shirt. I think that one might do okay. Lucky does not historically do well for me, but that's a different kind of piece. It's not just a t-shirt. This is the brand Pretty Angel, size extra large. I have one of these shirts in my uh, closet right now that the comps on it are pretty good and it's kind of an artsy um, piece. So I did grab this when I saw it. This has a bunch of inserts, these mesh kind of floppy pieces in the front, um, these quarter, corduroy, Trisha, these kind of destroyed cuffs, definitely an interesting artsy piece with these floral appliques in the front. And then it does tie in the back. It's sort of a shark bite hem, just very art to wear, artsy, um, even kind of lag and look, look to it. And it is made out of a silk, 50% silk, cotton rayon blend. I think the other shirt I have is silk. This I grabbed just because it's adorable. So it is Crown and Ivy, um, which is sold at Belk. This is a size 3X tank dress, like a peasant top almost, tank style dress with these embroidered um, pineapples all over them. A fun insert down here and a ruffle trim. This is lined. This is a substantial piece. It has this fun tie neck. So, you know, pineapples, not everyone who likes a pineapple is a swinger. <laughs> so uh, I think someone can enjoy that. That'd be a great beach holiday cruise type outfit to wear. All right, Chico size zero, which is a small. Um, normally I would not pick up a small in Chico's, but I really like this sweater. It's a medium weight sweater, but more of an open knit in this cream and olive green color blocking striping with a bit of metallic threading going through it. And it's just a cotton polyester blend, but I did like it, so I picked it up. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret piece. Um, this tag's sort of from the 90s, and it is from... Yeah, 1997, it's just polyester, but it gave me sort of a smoking jacket, Hugh Hefner look to it. It has a belt tie attached to it. I liked the gold color um, accents on this. And so I do pick up the vintage stuff from the 90s. I'll pick up any of it, but um, the silk stuff obviously does the best, but that did not deter me in this day. All right, this is another Torrid piece, <coughs> size 3, 4X. And it's an open batwing dolman sleeved cardigan with this contrasting knit, which is going to be doing horribly in this lighting. Um, and it is from, where's the tag? I swear this had a tag in it, but now I can't find it. It is just acrylic. And I don't know, it does not have a style tag on it, but it feels like unworn, there are some linties on it, so that will make my day. This I grabbed because it's an interesting sweater, or I mean, interesting scarf. So it's kind of an asymmetrical, ribbed, soft, kind of almost boiled wool looking thing. But it's weird because I don't think anything has been shrunk, but it's like asymmetrical. So this end goes down and flares out and then the top on the other side flares out, 
but it's just um, it's the by anthropology house brand and it is a acrylic 100% um, oh no rec recycled polyester so I will have to try see if I can find the style on this to see exactly how it's supposed to be worn but it's an olive green color and I liked it I've talked about in previous videos about picking up tablecloths so we are swapping out our dining room table. It used to be this big rectangular one when we redid the floors. I wanted to get rid of it. I just found at a yard sale the other day a, a wooden round table, exactly what I was looking for to refinish. And this is a round tablecloth. So this will be perfect for Christmas. Um, it's just a, got points, it has plaid and then poinsettias on it or poinsettias, depending on where you live. So I went ahead and grabbed that. All right, last bag here. I don't know why I keep picking up Tom's shoes, but when I find them and they're in really good condition, it's hard for me to leave behind. So this is a peep toe perforated booty heel with this um, stacked wood heel. These are a size 10. They have an inside zip. They're in very good condition. I feel like these shoes give you multi-season wear. So you can wear these kind of spring, winter, and fall um, before it gets too cold. Hardly anywhere on the bottom. So I wanted to go ahead and grab those. I, the day I walked in on this day, I did get there at opening, but I, they've moved where the shoe bin is at my bins and it is like wedged in a corner and it's just absolute chaos. I can't stand it. So I just kind of strolled in after everybody had left. This is Born. Um, I do like the brand Born. It's a comfort, well-made shoe. These are a size nine, I believe, which happens to be my size. But again, I don't need one more shoe in my life. But these are a little like shooty, uh, a booty with a little bit of a heel here. And it has this stretch to get them on, just a, um, a pull on shoe. But they have a Western sort of look, but also kind of an Oxford. So these are a boho um, kind of shoe. I think they would be really cute for the summer or at a festival if you had to wear a kind of a closed toed shoe. They're in excellent condition. They do not look like they've been worn very much or very far. So I did go ahead and pick them up. The stacked wood heel was in excellent condition. And so I thought they would be a good sale. And the resale on those it looked pretty decent. This is the last item that I got. Well, that's a lie. I did pick up a pair of Torrid sandals. Um, I threw them in my, they looked in great condition. I threw them in my bag. I got home and grabbed them out of the bag and they had a very strong, like very, very strong cigarette smell to them. I just threw them right in the trash. The other day when I opened the trash can, it was like, I could smell them in there. So um, I don't mind cigarette smoke. It's not something I'm super sensitive to, but I can smell it on things. And I was like blown away, very, very smoky. So they were not something I was going to resell because I could not um, get that odor out. And normally I would have smelled that probably at the bins. I'm not sure why I didn't, but I did kind of throw those in my cart. All right, this is not a brand I pick up. It's Sardo by Franco Sardo, which is I believe a sub brand. This is a red suede booty with an inside zip. It does have a buckle here, um, a stacked wood heel. So in a really nice condition, I think they're like a size six, or I mean a seven. Yep, size seven, the Matisse style. They are leather suede. So they were in good condition. And I went ahead and grabbed that because I thought some people do like red shoes and these would be a nice pop of color on your feet. That's it, that's my haul. Thanks so much for watching and listening to me drone on. Sorry about the lighting. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care.